Welcome to Garden Theory. My name is Zachary. Today we're going to be talking about how to design a flower bed when you're in an apartment type setting. This video will be used for homeowners if you have a deck or any kind of railing that you would like some flower boxes along. And that's what we're going to be doing here today over at Garden Theory. So I'm going to introduce some of the plants that we have here with us. I got these from a local nursery called Westwood Gardens. And so I'm going to run through some of the plants we got, some of the numbers on how much it will cost you to do something like this. Uh, but to start off with our video, what I'm holding right here, this is a kind of a nice bright green, uh, kind of a chartreuse type color coleus. And the way I like to design annual flower beds is I kind of think of it in three parts. So your first one is the structure, which is what this guy is going to serve. This is our structure plant. Uh, and the way I like to call it is I call these my skeleton plants. This is the backbone of the design. And then we'll add some tendon plants as well as some flesh plants. So this is one of my structure plants. We'll get about, depending on how well it grows, we're kind of in a part sun, uh, part shade location. So it may get upwards of 12 to 18 inches tall. So that's one of them. And so we have two garden boxes we're doing today. So we have two. So these are our two structures. And then moving on to some of our tendon, we got this six pack of some annual salvia um let's see if we can show you what it, it's got a little bit of a flower right there but these guys see if you can see that but they'll have some more taller purple flowers which will complement that kind of lime green color so this is part of our tendon it'll be another taller tight flower and then for our other tendon we have another six pack here of some zinnias a shorter variety can look at the tag right here should grow to almost a foot tall some zinnias can get upwards of three to four feet tall uh, but these are kind of like an orangey yellow type zinnia and so this will be part of our tendon so we have three for each pot just like the salvia and then that and now we're going to move on to the flesh so you can already kind of tell i have one structure two tendon and now we're going to have three flesh so that's kind of how i like to layer it is have just a little bit of structure, a little bit of support, and then you want a lot of flesh or your filler plants is a really good thing to have. And so part of that, we got, so these ones are in a gallon, but they're pretty small, so I don't think the roots are all the way down there, which is why I got this one. Uh, but this is kind of like a pink bubblegum type petunia, and this is one of the trailing varieties, so it should trail off like a deck or a patio. So that's one reason we got that. And then we got a uh, verbena, kind of a small one, right now but this one will have it's kind of like a purple and white variegated variety of flowers on this and so this is be another one of those trailing ones with lots these things will be covered in blooms come in the next few months so that's one of our fillers and then our last one kind of a recent trend re recently has been to do with black plants i got dark that is this is a black petunia and so this one's more of a mounding one it shouldn't trail as much uh, but it's going to add some of that nice black color to our arrangement so we got Obviously the black and the pink. And then we have two purples right here with these guys. And then we have the yellowish orange and the kind of the chartreuse kind of lime green color. You might think those might be kind of weird colors to combine together. You know, we got almost a lime green. We got yellows. We got oranges. We got pinks and black. But I promise you once we put these in the ground, you're going to see how well these colors complement each other. Especially here in the next few months as those develop. It's going to be quite a beautiful arrangement gonna be a lot of fun to put these in the ground so let's go on and do that well, before we put these in the ground i did promise y'all that we were going to talk about how much this is going to cost so we were able to find a pretty good hanging garden box from walmart uh, they have these really good ones only for ten dollars we got our garden soil at westwood gardens which was a little under ten dollars so for our two garden boxes we ended up spending about eighty dollars on plant material Keep in mind, this is for two garden boxes. Total cost for us was almost $100 even for two garden boxes or $50 each. So that's what you can expect if you wanted to try to do the same one at your own apartment or your own home. If you
All right, so at this point in the video, you might be wondering what are all those terms I've been referring to when I've talked about skeleton, tendon, and flesh. The way I design my annual flower beds is a method I learned at BYU-Idaho, style of annual gardening called the Mountain Meadow Design Philosophy, which we're gonna deep dive in a future video. But essentially it's very similar to like an English cottage garden type style. There's three parts, uh, the skeleton, tendon, and flesh. Skeleton, which are the structure and the tall focal point plants. So that's like between 10 and 25% of the total so if you have a hundred flowers and you want 10% of them to be skeleton then you need 10 skeleton plants. The tendon which is from 20% to 35% and the flesh is from 40% to 80%. By having that makeup it helps to create a bit more of an organized structure so it's not just pure randomness when you're designing this way. It has a bit of a structure or a layout to it while still looking very naturalistic in nature. It's very similar to trends like uh, K chaos gardening and stuff like that, but it's a little what we usually refer to it as uh, is called organized chaos. And so that way you're having an organized manner which you organize everything in, uh, but it's still very naturalistic and you use naturalistic forms with the skeleton plants, which we're gonna talk in more detail about in a full length video. That is how I design annual flower beds. And don't worry, if, if you're still a little confused, we're gonna have a whole video going to deep dive into it. So if you wanna watch that, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to watch a couple other videos here on my channel while we're waiting to so look forward to that. Again, subscribe, leave down a comment of anything you liked about the garden and show me any pictures of any projects you're working on this spring. And again, thank you so much for watching the whole video up to this point. And I hope y'all all have a wonderful day and don't forget to plant a seed of kindness today. So thank y'all.